Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this infinity uh, scarf. Now this can be for a man or a woman. It's made out of some chunky yarn and as long as you know how to do front post and back post stitches, it's actually really pretty easy to do. Now it is made in a big circle. One big ring. I'll go ahead and take a measurement. Now, this is measured folded in half. So you see how it's doubled there? It's from one side to the next, 33 inches. That's folded in half. So you'd probably double that. And then eight inches, yeah, yeah about eight inches wide. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using some yarn from Hobium. It's their Gazelle of Viking yarn. It's a 70 acrylic, 30% wool blend, and it is a super bulky number six yarn. So it's a, it's a thick yarn. The color is 4020. It's like a pumpkin color. Now, you don't have to use this yarn. Any super bulky six will work. There are 109 yards per ball, and I used all of three. So 300, I mean, I had like just a little bit left. So approximately 330 yards is what you're going to need of the super bulky six. And then I'm going to be using a size N, which is a 10 millimeter crochet hook. And now some ends are 9 millimeter, either or, a 9 or a 10, whichever that you have. Okay, <clears throat> you want to say, start out with a chain of 150. Now, this is going to be, you can change the chain amount if you want. It's the length of the scarf. You're going to slip stitch it together, and that's going to be the big ring. So I make it mine long enough to wrap twice. If you want yours shorter or longer, that's fine. It just needs to be a multiple of two. I went ahead and I chained 150. And now we're going to follow it down all the way without twisting your chain. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. A lot of people ask me if you can use, if they can use the uh, chainless foundation single crochet or whatever it is. That's fine. You can do that if you want. I just, I would prefer to do it this way. This is the way I was taught. So then we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. And now we got one big, big old ring. And now we are going to chain one. That chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to go right back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And we're going to do a double crochet. And now we're going to work one double crochet in every single stitch all the way around our big old chain until we get back to our starting point. So just continue around, working one double crochet in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. Just like that. Alright, I've made it to the end here of round one. And you should have a total of 150 stitches. And we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. So round two, we're going to start off by chaining one, which does not count as a stitch. We're going to work a double crochet right there into that very first stitch that we slip stitched into. Now that double crochet is going to act like a back post double crochet. We're just going to say it's a back post double crochet. So the next stitch, we're going to do a front post double crochet. So we're going to yarn over and we're not going to go into the top of the stitch. We're going to go around the post to where the post is on the front of your hook like that. And then just go ahead and do a double crochet. 
like that. Now the next stitch, we're gonna do a back post double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go around the post, but from the back side like that. And then the post is on the back of your hook. And then you go ahead and do your double crochet. And that's what we're gonna repeat now. We're going to do a front post double crochet, the next stitch. and a back post double crochet in the next. Front post double crochet in the next. And then a back post double crochet into the next. And this is a pattern we're gonna repeat all the way around front post double crochet and back post double crochet and you'll start to get these posts which will be more visible when we get another round on them but that's what it starts to look like so we're just going to continue repeating the front post double crochet back post double crochet repeat all the way around until we get back to our starting point. All right, now whenever you make it back around to the end of round two, your last stitch should have been a front post double crochet. And we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching here into this first double crochet. And you should still have a total of 150 stitches. Now what we're going to do is for round three, we're just going to repeat what we just did for round two. So we're going to chain one, double crochet right back in that same stitch. So that, remember that's kind of acting like a back post double crochet. And then we will front post double crochet around the next stitch. And you can see it's the front post double crochet from the previous round. And then the next stitch will be a back post double crochet. So it's the back post double crochet from the previous round. So what we're doing now is we're just repeating what we did on the previous round. We're just keeping our post stitches lined up. Like that. So we're doing the front post double crochet back post double crochet or repeat just like we did on the previous round front post double and back post double and now you can see that your post stitches you can see them a little bit better now so I'm just repeating what I did on round two. So I'm gonna work my way around and I'll meet right back up with you right here at the beginning. Alrighty, I'm coming to the end of round three and you should have ended in a front post double crochet and now you want to slip stitch in your first double and you should still have 150 stitches. 150 is a magic number. That's what you'll have at the end of every round. Now round four, what we're gonna do is chain one. Now I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch around. So I'm gonna go right back into that very first stitch and single crochet. And I'm gonna work one single in the top of every stitch all the way around until I get back to my starting point. So we're not gonna be doing any post stitches on this round. It's just one single in the top of every stitch. So this is round four that we're on. So I'm gonna continue working one single crochet in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. All right, I am coming to the end of round four, 150 stitches still. Go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet. Not that chain one, but the first single crochet. All right. Now round five, we are going to chain one. We're gonna go back into the very first stitch and do a double crochet. Chain one, 
now we are going to chain one and we are going to skip one stitch and double crochet into the next like that so that's kind of what we're going to repeat now for round five we are going to chain one skip one and double crochet into the next chain one skip one and double into the next chain one skip one double into the next and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to our starting point so chain one skip one and double into the next chain one skip one double into the next all the way around until you get back to the beginning all right i'm coming to the end of round five i did a double crochet I'm going to chain one and I should have one stitch left to skip. I'm going to go ahead and skip it and I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. Now you should have 150 stitches and that is counting every double crochet and every chain one space. So counting like one and then two, three, four. So every double and chain one together will equal 150. So for round six, we are just going to repeat what we just did. So we're going to chain one. We're going to go back into the same stitch and double crochet. And we're going to chain one, skip the chain one space, and double crochet on top of the next double crochet. Chain one, skip, and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one skip this space double crochet into the next and that's what we're going to repeat all the way around chain one skip the space and double crochet into the next chain one skip the space and double into the next so i'm going to go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, coming to the end of round six, 150 uh, if you count every double crochet and every chain one in space. Go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet. Now round seven, I'm going to repeat that one more time. So I'm going to chain one double crochet back into the same stitch and then I'm going to chain one skip the space and double crochet into the next chain one skip the space and double into the next so I'm just repeating for round seven what I did on round six I'm just going to repeat this just one more time here for round seven until I get back to my starting point All right, I went ahead and finished out round seven by slip stitching there into my first double crochet. Still 150 if you count every chain one space and every double crochet. So now I'm going to chain one and I'm gonna do single crochet now for round eight. So I'm gonna put one single crochet back into that same spot. And I'm gonna put one single crochet into every chain one space and on top of every double crochet all the way around until I get back to my starting point so through the chain one space and then on top of the double through the chain one space and on top of the double and I'm going to repeat this all the way around
just like that until I get back to my starting point. All right, I'm all right. I'm coming to the end of round eight here. You want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet, 150 stitches. Round nine. Now we're going to chain one. We're going to go back into that same spot there and do a double crochet. And now what I'm going to do is just work one round of one double crochet into every stitch all the way around until I get back to my starting point. Just like this. All right, I've made it to the end of round nine, 150 stitches still. I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching to my first double crochet. Now we're gonna go back to doing the front post double crochet and back post double crochet. So I'm gonna chain one and this is round 10. I'm double crochet right back into that same stitch. And then I'm going to do a front post double crochet around the next stitch. Remember like we did down here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna do a back post double crochet in the next. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet. And then a back post double crochet. So we're just kind of repeating what we did way down there on the bottom. It's the front post, back post, double crochet repeat. And that's what we're gonna do all the way around for round 10. Front post double crochet and back post double crochet. Front post double crochet and back post double crochet. All the way around until you get back to your starting point. Alrighty, I made it to the end of round 10. Your last stitch should have been a front post double crochet. We're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double. 150 stitches still. Now for round 11, we're just gonna repeat round 10. We're going to chain one, and then we're gonna put a double crochet back into that same stitch. And we're gonna repeat what we did on the last round. So we're going to do a front post double crochet, and then a back post double crochet. And a front post double crochet, and then a back post double crochet. So round 11 is just a repeat of round 10. And you wanna repeat the front post double, back post double, all the way around until you get back to your starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round 11, ended in a front post double crochet. I'm gonna end by slip stitching into my first double. Now I'm gonna do round 12, should be 150 stitches still. Round 12 is going to be my last round. So I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna do single crochet all the way around. So I'm going to go back into this very first stitch and single crochet. And then I'm just going to put one single crochet in the top of every stitch all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round 12, 150 stitches still. I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet. Now I'm going to tie this off and now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to put single crochet across the other side just to clean up the bottom edge so I'm going to start kind of where the seam is here in any stitch you can start in and I'm just going to go right through and I'm going to chain one go back into that same stitch and single crochet and now I'm just going to work around the bottom here and I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch and this is just going to clean up that bottom edge all the way around until I get back to my starting point. Just makes it look a little bit neater there. Just like that. All right, once you make it back to the beginning, you wanna go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet. Should have 150 stitches. If you don't, then you know, just somewhere around there is fine. Go ahead and tie that off. Boy, did I play yarn chicken. 
that's all I have left <laughs> of my yarn. Cutting it close. So now you want to go ahead and hide uh, any rem remaining tails that you have. All right, once you get all your tails hidden, that's it. That's all there is to it. I think it turned out nice. It'd be nice and warm for fall and, twin and winter. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, maybe a share on Facebook or um, Pinterest or something like that. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram um, and then give me a like on Facebook. I'll put links to those below in the comment section. And if you uh, make this, you can always post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. And also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. If you look over on the right hand side of the screen right now, I'm going to put a, a link to some other cows or a playlist to some other ones of uh, my cow tutorials, uh, infinity scarf tutorials, in case you want to make another one. Maybe you'll find one there that you enjoy. So until next time, have a good day.